Welcome everyone to the search video guide that I've created for LABI ELN and LIMS. LABI helps scientists document, manage, and interpret research data all in one online repository. So this video will walk you through on how to use the search functions. LABI provides three powerful search functions to help you quickly find any record. Starting off, we have in-page search as shown here. So when you have hundreds of items displayed on one page, the in-page search function will help you to quickly find a particular item. So on the list view of experiments, there is a search icon on the top in which you may click and start typing. The results are only from that page and will appear in real time as you type. Again, as shown here. A second search function we have is global search. So let's say you created a record a few months back but can only remember one or two phrases. That's where global search comes in and you can use global search to search records matched with any table such as experiments, samples, and more. And global search is also the fast and easiest way to find exactly what you're looking for within our, within our entire platform. And to perform a global search, you simply click on the search icon on the nav bar and you start typing in anything that you're looking for. And to note, by default, the search results will only cover the unique ID and name fields. To obtain 100% of the results, you need deep search, which will scan all searchable fields, but the deep, the deep search will be a tad bit slower when compared to a global search. And uh, moving right along, we also included our powerful advanced search, as you see here. So advanced search is to limit the search results based on one or more particular fields. And to use advanced search, you simply click the advanced search button, and this will prompt you to select a table for the advanced search. For this video, I will select experiment. And as you see, here are the customizable fields to build a query. So simply select a field, we'll go name, lookup expression contains and for the name we'll just put test and also you can add more than one query by simply clicking add query and once all fields are filled out simply click submit and that is all i have for you guys thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel as we are continuously updating more helpful videos thank you and have a good day